Hi guys, today we are gonna talk about recycling old jeans. We're gonna take that fabric from an old pair of jeans and we're gonna turn it into a fabulous art journal. We're gonna start by dividing up our jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off one of the legs here because I think that that's gonna be plenty enough fabric for me to create my little art journal. You'll notice that the back of the jeans is just a little bit bigger than the front, so that's the section I'm really going to focus on. So I'm just going to trim along the edges of the seams on each side. That way I'll have a nice, flat, seamless piece of fabric that I can work with. Now that I have my jeans sectioned off, I'm going to use a rotary trimmer to trim it down to size. This is my favorite way to do it. You have your ruler and your trimmer all in one. Now I want my pages to be approximately 5 by 7 inches in size, so I'm going to want my cover to be just a little bit larger than that. So I'm shooting for approximately 7.5 inches tall by double the width of maybe six inches to accommodate for the pages. So we're going seven and a half by 12. And you will need two of these panels. You'll need one for the outside of your journal cover and then you'll need one for the inside. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of decorating. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the film and let you watch as I add a little paint. Now that I'm happy with my cover, I went ahead and added a closure button. Now on the back, you'll notice that I've added just a little bit extra fabric behind where I've sewn the button on. This is gonna help keep it nice and strong so that when there is pulling on that section, the button won't rip out. For the opposite side of the closure, I'm just gonna use a simple rubber band. You can see here that I have run a simple straight stitch around all four sides of my cover. If you're not a stitcher, no worries. Just use a little bit of fabric glue, totally work. I'm just going to add a few eyelets for strength and then we will be ready to add our pages. For my pages, I have chosen to use this Canson mixed media paper. It has a similar texture and look to watercolor paper, but it's much thinner, but still really sturdy. I've decided to do three separate signatures of five pages each. This is going to give me a total of 30 pages that I can play with. I'm just going to tie them in with a little bit of twine. All right, my little journal, she is finished. And now here's a peek at a similar journal that I've made in a much simpler style. You can see it's rocking a a plain tie closure, and it's just slightly larger with a longer cover. Okay guys, that is it for me. Now I want to see you rock those denim duds into some fabulous art journals. See you later. Bye!